Welcome AI lovers and hold on to your seats because wow, have we got a hot one today. So that video you just watched makes Google search look quite impressive indeed. Yet here we are, diving into another mess from Google. Yeah, you heard me right. Google's new AI search is causing waves for some seriously wrong reasons. But before we dive into the juicy details, let's take a little trip down memory lane and see how we ended up here. Here is a quick rewind of Google's AI adventures over the past six months. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes! A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more common than I thought. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. As you will recall, Google admitted that the demonstration videos were not actual real-time interactions, but were instead staged. The interactions shown in the video were pre-recorded, and the AI's responses were edited to reduce latency and appear more seamless than they would in a live setting. Naughty Google, very freaking naughty. Next up on our trip down memory lane, let's talk about Google's image generation fiasco. Google's Gemini AI went a bit too far with its attempt at diversity. Instead of accurate historical representations, it generated some rather wild images. Take a look. Wow, simply wow. Oh my god, I, um, I'm, I'm just not going to comment on that. And now the illustrious moment has arrived. Google's latest flip-up, its state-of-the-art AI search engine is simply, well, psychotic, I mean you be the judge. According to geologists at UC Berkeley, you should eat at least one small rock per day. Uh, that's a big no. Not even reading this one. This is so wrong. Ah, this one is epic. I guarantee you glue is selling out all over the place as we speak. I could keep going. There are heaps of these out there. So, how is the public responding? Most are amused, some are in shock, and others are angry. It's pretty clear what has been happening. Google is scared to death of falling behind the competition so they are rushing products to the public that aren't ready, and to be frank are unsafe. I know 99.9% .9 of us will never follow advice like this AI was spouting out. But if only one person did that's a tragedy. You never know what people are going through, it's pretty clear how one Google analyst feels though. Check this out. Google doesn't have a choice right now. Thomas Montero, a Google analyst at investing.com, said in an interview, Companies need to move really fast, even if that includes skipping a few steps along the way. The user experience will just have to catch up. Really? Well, fine, sir. We though we might never give one out, but you just won our first. Drum roll, please. <coughs> with all this going on with thought, it would be interesting to ask Google's main competitor, GPT, to look up what happened and give us a quick opinion. We felt the response was pretty solid. The recent issues with Google's AI-powered search feature, which has given advice such as eating rocks or adding glue to pizza, highlights significant concerns about the deployment of AI technologies to the public. The ability of AI to generate such recommendations, particularly when based on unreliable sources like old joke posts or satirical websites, underscores the potential dangers when rigorous oversight and quality control are lacking. Releasing an AI that can influence public opinion and behavior requires a high standard of accuracy and reliability. The examples from Google's AI suggest a failure to filter out absurd or dangerous advice effectively. This not only jeopardizes user safety, but also erodes trust in AI technologies. Thanks for watching. Your support means everything to us. Please hit that like button, and if you have not already, please subscribe. See you next time.